Today, I gave Jokic the ability to dunk. Jokic is already the greatest player in the NBA, and now he will have LeBron's athleticism. He will be equipped with Vince Carter, Michael Jordan's, and LeBron's dunk packages, and he will be the reason why the Nuggets turn into an NBA dynasty and why superstars will come to the roster. Looks like we are going to be well above a 60 win season in our first year of the rebuild. I haven't made any changes to the roster yet. Next season, I'm going to probably trade Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, and some role players and bring another superstar alongside Jamal Murray and Jokic as he does win MVP averaging 25, 17, 11, 3, and 3. Giving him that athleticism boost just made him insane. He also just won Defensive Play of the Year, which would never happen IRL. Jokic is also now on the All-NBA First Team. He is the only All-NBA player we have, and he's on the All-Defensive First Team alongside no one else on this roster. We are obviously the first seed in our conference, playing the Lakers as we do win in six games. Season stats for the rest of our roster, we have Jamal Murray, who actually also averaged 24, 4, 6, a steal, and half a block, shooting really good from the field. Aaron Gordon with 13, 5, 4, almost a steal, half a block. Michael Porter Jr. with 17, 6, 1, and 1. He's been playing really good in the playoffs. KCP with 9, 2, 3, a little over a steal. Christian Braun, Julian Strother, Peyton Watson, and Zeke came off our bench. All very young players and played their ro role very well. As we do have Golden State in the second round, shouldn't have any issues here. Playing the Clippers, who are the second seed, Russell Westbrook, Norman Powell, Paul George, Kawhi, Mason Plumlee. Harden is actually coming off the bench alongside Zubach, which is odd. They did make a trade to acquire Duncan Robinson and Peyton Pritchard on their roster as well. And they... They lose in seven games. Jokic just got Western Conference Finals MVP, averaging 26, 15, 11, over three steals and almost three blocks. I was not expecting the defensive boost from him as we are playing the Knicks in the finals. I will be very surprised if we don't win all three championships in this video just because this man is the greatest NBA player of all time right now. We go up 3-1. I will go ahead and simulate this game so that I can showcase LeBron's or not LeBron's, Jokic's dunking ability, assuming we keep the game close. We were losing there for a bit, as there's only 35 seconds left in the game, and we do win by five. Jokic also does take home finals MVP, joining the 50-40-90 club, and this season I'm going to do some drastic changes to the roster so that we can get Jokic some more help, even though he doesn't need it. We can potentially go down with the greatest record in NBA history if we only, actually we can't lose another game. If we lose one more, we're gonna tie with it. I did change up the starting five completely, aside from Jamal Murray and Jokic. Our bench is also the exact same as we finished with a 23 and nine record. Jokic is still winning defensive player of the year as he is still on the all NBA first team and he's the only all NBA player we have. Him and Evan Mobley both make the all-defensive first team for us. We did pick up Evan Mobley, and that is that. We are the first seed in our conference again, playing the Lakers in the first round, as we do sweep them to play the Mavericks in the second round. Jamal Murray averaged 23-6 and a steal this season. Evan Mobley with 14-9-4-1 and almost two blocks. Also acquired Desmond Bain, who averaged 19-3-4 and a steal. Jokic had 19-13-9-2-2 this season. Julius Randle is now our starting small forward with 17 7 4. Christian Braun off the bench with 9. Julian with 8. Peyton Watson with 6. And the only difference in the bench is we acquired Drummond, who averaged 8 8 and a steal for us. Asha shot over 50% from the field. And then we 4 1 the Mavericks. Actually, playing the 7th seed of Kings in the first round, who don't even have De'Aaron anymore. They have Davion as their starting point guard. Bradley Bill is still a 20 point per game score this should honestly be an easy round yeah we win in four games and Jokic wins western conference finals mvp now we're playing the hornets it's just their roster essentially in the starting five off the bench they acquired mitchell robinson is that it how is this team in the finals all right this should be an easy 4-0 sweep again which if it if we were even playing the best team in the league i think we could still get the job done as Jokic does win another finals mvp shooting over 60 percent from three only averaging 20 points, but he's also averaging 11 rebounds, 11 assists, 3 steals, and 2 blocks. I will go ahead and simulate one final year to see if we can win 3 championships in a row. I did run it back with the same roster for our final season. Uh, it would have been pretty stupid not to, considering we went 73-9 and last season. We do have a worse record this year, but still, we're a 60-something win team. Jokic wins his third defensive player of the year. I was not expecting that at all as he's still on the all-NBA first team and on the all-defensive first team with Evan 
Mobley, obviously we're going to get into a game here with Jokic and showcase his dunking ability, assuming I don't lose in the first round. I got taken to six games by the Lakers. Season stats, Jamal still over a 20 point per game score. Mobley with 14, 9, 4, 1, and almost 2 blocks. Desmond Bain with 19, 4, and a steal. Jokic with 20, 13, 9, over 2 steals, almost 3 blocks. Julius Randle with 17, 6, and 4. And then our bench played really well. I didn't realize the Nuggets had this many young players on their roster. I'm a little shocked by it, to be honest. Okay, we just swept the Rockets, who had Brunson now. Hold up. Brunson, Eamon Thompson, Dylan Brooks, Jabari Smith Jr., He's always like a 13 point per game scorer in rebuilds, and he just never gets past that. They also do have Wiseman at the 5 with Kuzma off the bench. That is a super deep roster to get swept. Who do the Thunder have? Jay, Karis, Levert, Dort, Jalen Williams, Chet, Kaysen Wallace, Jonathan Isaac, Isaac Okuru. Look, their team is worse than it usually is as they take game 1. We come back in game 2 and game 3 and game 4, and then we win in five games it looks like we're either playing the pistons or indiana and we are playing the detroit pistons we have Cade, ivy azure isaiah stewart jalen duran quentin grimes off the bench with sasser stefan castle simon it's pretty much just their roster except they had a jalen williams and stefan castle the pistons do have a lot of great young players kid cunningham is definitely underrated azure thompson is going to be an insane defensive nightmare isaiah stewart's a good stretch big if jalen duran can stay healthy he's going to be great so we would take this game by game because I do want to sim in and just absolutely dunk on Jalen Duran. So we'll get the sim cast going for this last game. I'll sim in about five minutes into the fourth quarter because I did miss it last year. We just put up 41 points in that second quarter. As we're this is a pretty low scoring game, 96 to 79 here. We're gonna go in up almost 20 right now. As Jokic just have 11, 13, and six. Not even that insane of a stat line. Jamal Murray wasn't even in the game. The man who owns the Lakers, owns the playoffs. He's going to go down as one of the, I don't want to say greatest players of all time. I, could, I guess I could say one of the greatest playoff players of all time. Yet he doesn't have any all-star appearances. He's never going to win MVP. He's probably never going to be on an all-NBA team. But he's going to have some rings. And he's going to have an insane stat line in the playoffs. He already does. I don't know what it is. That man just always turns up whenever it's I guess whenever it's time to whenever it really matters and all honesty the Nuggets shot pretty poorly against the Lakers in the first round of the playoffs so hopefully that does not happen against the Timberwolves oh my Jokic missed a dunk all right he's playing like me out here we're gonna D up Cade Cunningham with Desmond Bain as Stefan Castle gets a standing dunk if somehow the Kings get him with their 13th or 14th pick probably this season that would be great. He's a 6'6 six, six shooting guard, can play defense really well. And honestly, this draft class doesn't look too stacked. But at the same time, I feel like there are a lot of good wings in it and taller guards who have the potential to be good role players in the NBA, at least. Just no really, like, goaded level players. Jokic, I'm going to need you to dunk it, big fella. You got 17, 14, and 6 with a couple layups here, but I need you to throw it down. Let's see. Who is their leading score right now? Is it Cade? No, it's Ivy with only 16, then Dern, then Cade. In my opinion, Cade doesn't get the respect he deserves in the NBA. Definitely an underrated guard just because of his injuries. He was a top three pick. I can't remember if he was one or not. There it is, Jokic. Oh my gosh, who was that? Was that? No, nah, I thought that was Killian Hayes for a second. RIP, that man is just completely gone. I'd be very surprised if he gets picked up. Maybe he does this offseason. Who knows? Jokic is out cherry picking. Dunk it. Oh my gosh. He's got that Zion dunk package going to work down there as he does get over 20 points here. Christian Braun, why are you why are you in? Did we sub out? No, Desmond Bain and Jamal Murray just have not come in the game yet. Okay. Jamal Murray has how many? He got 23, 4, and 5. Desmond Bain has 16. Julius with 18. Evan Mobley only 4. But he does have 10. Rebound, so I guess that's something. Let's get the D Wade LeBron lob going here. Oh my gosh, get cooked. Jokic roll. Hey, bro, just switched hands midair. All right, we've seen Jokic's dunking ability. We are going to go ahead and sim to the end of the game real quick where we do win 122 98. And Jamal Murray is actually our leading scorer of the game with 26 points. I'd be very surprised if Jokic doesn't win finals MVP still, just because his defensive stats are kind of carrying him at the moment. As yep, there he is. His third finals MVP in a row, averaging 19, 15, 9, 3, and 2. 
blocks. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you all with the next video.